Guys, it's October 1st and I just got home from work and luckily it's still getting dark late enough that I'm able to run out and get in the tree. So we got a pretty breezy afternoon, but it's still fairly cool. It's like 60 some degrees. We got a northwest wind of probably 15, 20 right now. I expect that to calm down right towards dark. And I'm heading to a little place where I'm looking for a doe. So I think my odds are pretty good. It's a little clover plot that I planted two years ago, reseeded this past winter, and it's done really well. Cameras show a bunch of does on it every night. So many um, that, I, like I said, I think my odds are pretty good. I would say 50-50 shot of getting it done tonight. And uh, so I guess we'll see. Driving over there now, it's only a few minutes away from my house. Only a few minute walk, and I'll check in with you guys as soon as I get in the tree. Just excited to be back at it. October 1st, first time of 2020. I've been so excited for this season. It's, it reminds me of when I was young. Just can't wait to go. Deer are exciting. Being in the timber is exciting. We're finally in the tree. All right, so I'm back in the truck. Day one is in the books for 2020. And that hunt went exactly how most deer hunts go. I saw a deer, which is good. Sometimes I don't do that. And ended up not getting anything done. I only saw one deer, it was a fawn. And I thought for sure a big doe would be coming out at some point, but she didn't. I'm still happy I got to spend time in the tree. And that's the way it goes most of the time. So with that said, I will check in with you guys. I don't know if I'm going hunting tomorrow or not. Depends what time I can get back from the office. Uh, I work about 45 minutes from where I hunt. So if I get off in time, I'll go hunting. If not, this weekend starts the day after tomorrow and I'll for sure be in a tree then and I'll check in. See you in a second. All right guys, day number two. It's October 2nd. I'm heading to the same exact tree I was in last night. Weather's pretty much the same, except the wind has calmed down big time it's actually barely moving right now and by dark it's supposed to be dead calm uh, so I was surprised last night I didn't see more than I saw I had one small doe fawn come by and that was it so I don't know I have to imagine two nights in a row in a plot that looks that good there's got to be an adult doe show up all we can do is go sit in a tree and you know again I don't mind doing that so I will catch you I just honked my horn 
so I'll get in the tree I'll get the camera on show you guys around and hopefully we'll be hanging a deer up in the shop tonight stay tuned She's down. It's so calm. Let me sit down. It's so calm that my wind just settled right here. And those fawns were okay with that. Big does are not. And there's one guaranteed way to get yourself shot. That's to come in here and snort at me. So she snorted, took off. When she took off, I stood up and drew. She stopped at about 28 
yards. I shot her just a tad high, but I think it's because she dropped. Obviously not on the big camera. Self-filming doesn't work in that situation. But I did have the GoPro going, so... Hopefully you guys got to see that. Most importantly, I've got a doe down. Good way to start the season, October 2nd. I'm gonna give it probably 10 minutes. I'm gonna get down, get blood, go ahead and find her. I don't worry about getting a truck or a tractor to her once I get her truck up on a laneway. She ran right into a brushy draw. Sounds like she's probably right down in this ditch. should be right over here. I would imagine I'll be able to find my arrow. Because it sounded like it blew right through her. if we can find her and my trail camera's right there so this could be cool too bad it's not on video so I'm just leave this arrow right here see if I can start finding blood right away you guys have seen any of my videos before you'll know that I can't blood trail at all I'm colorblind but sometimes I get lucky there's a lot of it I can follow it I think she ran right in through here see that. quartering away, jumped the string a little, hit her a little high, exited off that other shoulder in that plot. I can see the opening right there. She only went probably 60 yards. Okay guys, I want to get a little bit serious here for a second. So you just saw me shoot this deer. You just saw me smiling and, and laughing in the tree and I am still ecstatic. But I just want you guys to know, uh, I'm well aware of the fact that I just took a life okay and so I don't mean to make this too heavy but I just want you to know how much respect I have for these animals how do you respect something that you're out trying to kill well you understand its place you understand your place and the way I was raised is you know if I'm gonna go out and hunt and take an animal I need to be as ethical as I can I need to take it as seriously as I can this isn't a game 
I don't come out here and just kill things, okay? This is something I put a, a lot of work in and time in to harvest. You know, of course it's meat, but also I realize that I, a life was sacrificed for me to enjoy a hunt and for me to eat. So I'm very, very thankful for this deer. I'm very, very thankful for this moment. This is why you guys need to make sure that you're very comfortable with your gear. So when you decide to let an arrow go and you shoot an animal, it doesn't suffer. This animal lived 30 seconds. It went 60 yards, okay? And now she's going home with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and start dragging this out. My plot is right here. So I'm just gonna drag this out into the plot. Um, I might take it out of here since I can drive my truck up to that plot and field dress it elsewhere so it's not right in the middle of that clover field. But hey, work begins now. So guess I'll get to dragging. Oh, let me back up. You can't touch a deer in Illinois that you have harvested without tagging it. So I guess I'll tag it and I'll get to dragging. All right guys, so I wanna get a couple pictures here. Uh, I'm gonna go get my truck and I'm gonna park my truck and use the magnet on my phone case to hold my camera and get a picture of her and load her up. Now, I won't see you guys for a few minutes here. I'm gonna check in with you when I get back to the shop and have her hung up. Be right back. guys I'm gonna leave you with that Bailey just finished supper so I'm gonna go in and eat I'll come back out I'm gonna go ahead and skin her out quarter her out throw her on the ice and that's a good start to 2020 that makes me very happy thanks again for watching guys I intend to continue to film this fall hopefully we'll see some more deer go down Trevor Donnie Terrace all my buddies if I get a chance to get in a tree with them we'll do that as well so subscribe if you'd like Thanks again.